Yeah. No, I forgot to turn off the chibis. Who cares? Oh, I mean, good thing they're there. Yeah, uh, good thing yeah. they're there. Good thing they're there. Good thing they're there. Uh, hello one, hello all. Look, it's the lizard. Sorry, I have to do it every time I see her. I'm co contractually obligated. obligated by Pawn to mention that it is indeed a lizard and is indeed on stream whenever said lizard is on stream. Um, so today we're going to be playing Metroid Prime. Um, there's been some i've been having some issues with my capture card so instead of i wanted to stream prime remaster ow ow uh, ow uh, i heard that i ow. heard that i feel that that was the my thermos against the tooth that i got worked in yesterday ah i feel that god damn boy ow Hey, I Super Bowl light it myself. <laughs> yes. So, Chad, while he heals his pain, I'm going to explain to you guys what happened. Uh, we don't know what happened. There's some issues with the capture card and yeah. some issues with the audio. So we were trying to fix it for, like, doing a test stream today, maybe another one tonight, so we can make sure that tomorrow works well. Yes. But it's not working out, so instead we're just going to chill a little bit with Prime 1 directly from the Dolphin sim uh, emulator. Yeah, we're, we're just going to... Uh, what do you mean? We're playing this out of a vintage GameCube. Oh, yeah, vintage GameCube. Vintage yeah, legal magic... GameCube, one of my, <laughs> like, five copies of Metroid Prime. We're going to be using the magic of Disney. <laughs> uh, Yeah, we were trying to get the capture card to work, but it didn't work. So we loaded up the GameCube uh, because that uses a different capture card. Um, but before we get into the game, there is, of course, uh, the special, uh, very special announcement. Yeah, an early, early bit announcement for tomorrow. Oh, shit. Why is it so small compared to, oh, because this is the wrong image, but who cares? Hey, hey, there it is. <laughs> there she there is. is. There she is. Um... Again, reminder, if you did not know, tomorrow, the Kickstarter goes live. Um, we are doing a Kickstarter for an original animated uh, series. We're trying to get funding to have at least one pilot episode made. Um, and then with this pilot episode, we can uh, see how well it works and totally bring you guys an original animated series um style recollection as you saw um there is a link to the kickstarter down in the description uh if you're watching it on youtube if you're watching this on twitch uh there is a panel down there with the same image if you click those it'll take you to the page uh it's gonna go live tomorrow i'll make another announcement but that's way uh that way you can uh stay tuned with it uh later today We'll also be making the official announcements on the official social medias for the site. Um, I just was a little bit delayed yesterday because I spent longer than I anticipated at the dentist, but it is there. Um, the two chibis you see in, over there are the, the main protagonists. Um, and yeah, this, uh, this is it. Now, uh, what time will it be tomorrow? Uh, I don't know. I can't, I'm not going to give a specific time, but it'll be easy for you to know because there will be, I will be making an announcement on, on all my social media. So on my Twitter, on my discord, um, and you'll, and on even my YouTube, because there's a new video going on tomorrow, um, that promotes the show a new, there's videos about the show. And then there's a regular Orpheon video and we're doing another stream tomorrow. Um, so you'll know about then there is a Twitter, uh, but right now we're trying to f solve a logging issue because of course this website is fucking fantastic. Um, and stuff like that. So just keep your uh, eyes peeled. Uh, tomorrow there'll be a, uh, all that stuff is going to go live. So if you just stay tuned to all the social medias tomorrow, I want to say afternoon-ish. Uh, Central Standard Time uh, is where all those things are going to go live. 
Uh, so yeah, I, I was just delayed at the dentist, but we felt like uh, we wanted to do this for the EU crowd. Uh, tomorrow's stream might be more catered to the US crowd. And then on Friday, because I have Friday off, because uh, 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 there's an it's a holiday over here of sorts, so we get Friday and Monday off over here. I will uh, probably do another uh, stream for the EU crowd, uh, maybe two or more, uh, to promote this and all this other stuff. So, if you guys have any questions, we can start talking about it. We can address the elephant in the room. So yeah, that's just a reminder that tomorrow the stream go, uh, the Kickstarter goes live. Uh, we would really appreciate any support you can give us, especially with spreading the word online, other discords, other Twitters, other content creators. Uh, we'd your be friends, happy. your family, your grandma. Yeah, if, if, you know, some other content creator, I don't know, I'm, I don't think I'm going to name drop or anything, comes over and asks us about the show, we'd be more than happy to give them a, a sneak peek preview. We have stuff to show. Um, and all that stuff so we'd be happy to just try and get this out because it's original made from the ground up by yours truly uh with the help of gabe with the help of kuba Ushi, who's the guy who dressed the chibis the trenton's doing the music so an official original orpheon production uh once again uh the links are in the description i will post a link actually i will post it in the chat as well um real quick and then we'll get into the game uh, but yeah, um, it's been a very, very, very long time coming, and I've been um, working on this for what seems to be like forever, um, and so I would really, really appreciate the support that you guys can give me because this is, this is, this is my dream. This is my passion project is to just entertain you guys beyond just silly. YouTube videos, if you may, you know, Gabe and I met in college, uh, we're trying to make shows and games to just uh, entertain people, and then we got Kuba, and now we're a team of three, and then we got Trenton, and so we keep the ball rolling, and our main goal is always you guys, and your your enjoyment, your satisfaction, and your entertainment, so I hope you look uh, forward to it, uh, like I said, these two chibis are the... Uh, uh, the main characters and uh, if you have any questions while we're playing Metroid Prime uh, feel free to ask uh, and we'll be uh, happy to uh, address any questions that you have I don't think Gabe is going to take out the spray bottle today depends but not too much because we need to say something for tomorrow yeah, I mean, tomorrow is where we're going to have a major, like, everything goes out, you know? There we go. Mm. But yeah, with that said, let's get into Metro Prime. We'll, we'll, we'll have another commercial break for this later, don't worry. Uh, why are you in the red chat? I don't know, you tell me. All right. Anyways, Metro Prime. Like we said, we had a little bit of a technical lift, uh, difficulty. Uh, the, the game audio is mixed with the voice audio, so if the game is too loud or too quiet compared to Gabe's voice, just let me know. And I'll try and make a quick adjustment and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, uh, this is just gonna be a chill stream. Nothing too serious. Um, but yeah, let's, let's just get started. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, you say get started, but, uh... I know, I mean, it's... You know how I Are you calibrated your controller or something? Yeah, I think there's a glitch in my controller. Hold on. <laughs> All right. Uh, is that yeah. better? I mean, it doesn't move anymore. But... Yeah, it's at least not moving. All right. All right. Let's go. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, my goodness. I'm so anxious about tomorrow, chat. I am so, oh, yeah. so no, fucking no. anxious. So fucking anxious. Speaking of dentists, I had to reschedule, reschedule the appointment I had this week due to illness. Oh, that sucks. Uh, I hope that whatever you have to do with the Crentist isn't too painful. Um, how's the game audio? Let me know. I'm just testing out a little bit here before we do it to the game audio. 
Also, Alberto, you know you can drop the O. You can just it's Albert's just fine. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's something more amazing, all things considered. Honestly, I would be You and Gavin, the rest should be proud. We're proud. We're excited, but at the same time, it's nerve wracking because you know. It's us putting our heart and soul out to the internet, and uh, rejection is a bitch, especially when you're trying to offer a genuine um, product that's completely original and, and all this other stuff. You know, that's not something that we've been tinkering at since the pandemic, and it's one of many projects that we've been tinkering since the pandemic, because we just want to give you guys... Yeah, my controllers are fucked up. There we go. Um... Yep, it's my gosh. I'm I'm too lazy to open the the, the control panel. We'll we'll roll with it. Uh, um, it really happens. Uh, we'll just um, what do you say? You know, we want to do this stuff. Um, when we started doing Orpheon, Gabe and I and another friend of mine called Gil back in the days. Thank you for the sub taco. Appreciate it. This time you're actually doing it when we're recording. Look at that. <laughs> Um, there we go. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm gonna have to pause the game real quick after this. We're gonna have to pause it. Oh boy! All yeah, right. we gotta. We're gonna have to pause it. Uh, hey, Taco. And then gonna hit the left bu button. <laughs> and then go to visor. <laughs> <laughs> Hint system and then turn it off. Why? That seems like a very awful thing. All right, fine. I'll play with a hint system. Jeez, just, just, just leave it on then. Leave it on. Then you should probably just leave it on. Okay, fine. I just like, <laughs> I, I refuse to press it. I just refuse to press it. This is on you, uh, Gabe. Why me? I, I'm just telling you what you shouldn't do. <laughs> you should you should have the game as it's meant to play. With yeah, I mean, I'm, I refuse to press the button. <laughs> Fine. Fine. <laughs> it's just been forever. It's been forever. Yeah, I mean, it's like, it's, I just give up. I just give up at this point. I just like am too lazy today. Um, but yeah. If you're tuning in, uh, we're going to be doing another stream tomorrow um, for recollection. Once uh, the Kickstarter is live and all this other stuff, we're also going to go ahead and do another Metroid Prime 2 or Metroid Prime 1 randomizer stream. Uh, my controllers. I think I have a little bit of a stick drift. I should, mention, like I should mention I'm not playing this on my regular Xbox controller. I'm actually using like my PS4 controller, and my PS4 controller has definitely seen better days. Um, blame uh, Nier Automata for that. Yeah, that sounds like an awful thing. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, I, I still continue, I refuse to press the one. Uh, how's the audio chat? It's it's a little bit quiet on my end, but I just want to make sure that it's, uh, it's not too quiet. Um... <laughs> You know, I'm gonna. I'm gonna I, I'll allow you to turn off the hint system. How about that? All right. Sure. You sh it's fine. <laughs> Thank you. My my. It's. Uh, yeah. I I I always want to check the, the I always think it's in display, but it's. I keep forgetting it's in visor. Even though I just said it before, I have. I always have like that brain fart since I was a kid. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense. It just visually makes. <laughs> yeah, sense. it make it makes more sense to be on display than visor. Because when I think of visor, I just think of like the heads up display, you know. But yeah, I know, and I are. get that it's like a heads up display element. But famous Metroid streamer, player, content creator, internet celebrity, and franchise magnet uses his hints in old games. More in the shocking news soon. <laughs> I'm a hack fraud. That's what I am. Oh, the hive oh. maker. Yeah, we gotta do. I'm surprised you remember the name of this boss. I mean, you've been telling me about this fucker for how many times already? <laughs> how many years? Gabe and I have like our uh, have it for like 11 year anniversary in this year. All right.
You know, it's just hive mech. I just now gotta wait for this fucker to stop. And there. Um, fun fact, when I was a kid, like, I've been playing this game so much, I don't know what else to talk about. Um, so, like, chat, if you want to chat, we can just chat. Nope. Oops. Sorry, got a little bit carried away. Got, yeah, I got a little excited. Um, old school Metroid Prime, huh? Yeah, I mean, we tried to stream remaster, uh, but the Elgato capture card I use is acting up again. It might be the cable. Um, and so... I'm trying to just play Metroid Prime, but then also my controller is not being generous. And then my voice meter banana got whatever fucked up, so we're just rolling with it. This is going to be a, a, a fun, messy stream to promote uh, the original show recollection. This is the first time I see you struggling with the hug mic. I mean, try and, try and play a game like this when you have stick drift, okay? And you're juggling like three things in your mind. Yeah, it's, it sounds like you're just being bad at the game. Yeah, no, it's just a skill issue. Uh, excuse. Alright, uh, Look first that, boss down. Yeah. Chat, if we're going to do another randomizer stream, will you prefer to be Metroid Prime or Metroid Prime 2? I'm asking now while Pawn is not here. I honestly say Prime better just because there's less, uh... There's just more... What's the word? It's not that direct. Is it not that direct? Oh, yeah, thank like you, the... What are you calling? Uh, it's not linear. It's not as linear. They're both equally as linear, though. I guess you... Uh, oh, well, I see what you mean. It Echoes feels more linear because you need to, like, clear the Agon Wastes and then you head to Torvis Bog, kind of like a Zelda game. I see what you mean. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, it's been forever since uh, we've done a Metroid Prime 1 uh, stream. Even though chat is saying 2. Is there already a crowd control stream? We are planning it. Um, yeah, we're planning. We're planning. I know I've been saying this for years now, but... Um, when I... Um, we've been... Might as well check out the map room, why not? I've never, I never do this. I feel, I'm feeling special today. So I it's mean, more. It's always good to have it, right? Yeah, it's it is. Even though you know, I know the map like the back of my hand. So it's, um, uh, it's not that I got scared. It's more like I want to find a balance where, the game just doesn't feel like completely impossible. But the chat, so that way, chat is also struggling to fuck with me the same way, I'm trying my best to get out of being fucked up with um and so the idea with the crowd control is that we're just trying to figure out how to balance out the 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 things where it can feel like a a, a push and pull between me and chat versus just a steamroll which is what happened last time um, yeah because uh you got your items removed completely yeah i, I lost all the time. items i lost all the energy tanks with no way of like all right i get him back after 20 minutes or something like that um and that really just fucks with metro prime 2 specifically because you you kind of need it to survive dark echoes la later and stuff like that especially when you're not at like a speed runner so like i feel like it would get annoying just to see me fail over and over at the same yeah, like, Prime boss. 2 is a little bit too harsh on the things that you can get rid of yeah. the player. So, the the idea is balance out what chat can not mess with and what they can mess with. So that there's equally, like, a push and pull between me and chat rather than one side absolutely decimating the other. Because then I feel like nobody else is having fun aside from the people who had enough bits to just prevent me from killing the first boss. Yeah, this is uh, totally a legit GameCube. Totally legit GameCube. Um, yeah, yeah, this is another person that's... Thank you for the other sub tackle. And then, I, but, like, well, the reason we put that planning on hold um, is because we were, uh, you know, we were putting... Uh, we were working on this. We were planning this and all this other stuff, you know, and recollection and all this other shit. Uh, so I had to put the pri priorities. Hype train. Oh, thank you. Ooh, Thank you so much. I really, really, really appreciate it. I have already seen the Prime game dozens of times, so I wouldn't mind seeing some challenges and fails. I mean, 
the idea is that we'd be doing randomizers. So that way, the, there's also the trial and error about where can I go, what items can I find. And then, um... Is that why you're going and then, to every there's room doing to a crowd start, control? Get, uh, is that why you're going to every room to figure out where the items that you can find early so you can remember? Or yeah, the, uh, I'm, I'm trying to do like a little. I'm, you, you know me. When I'm talking, I ramble along. My brain goes into autopilot. Um, but then also, I'm trying to like just freshen up my memory so that when we get to the Metro Prime randomizer, I at least remember. Uh, like, I, I, I'm pretty confident, but there's nothing wrong with just doing a silly old. Uh, playthrough first oh i remember this guy this is where you fight for the morphle yes um gave us gave like the funny thing with gabe chad is that he's never played a metric game well metric prime yeah a metric prime game i should say he played dread he's played uh, a little and bit samus returns samus returns super right a little bit the, the remake the one that came out with the 3ds no no yeah but yeah samus returns but you have you i thought you played super metric uh, I mean, it doesn't count if I played it, it was just like, what, five minutes? Yeah, true. So yeah, those are like, but he's never really played a Metroid Prime game. But he knows all of this because, again, he was like my neighbor and he came every day to my house and what uh, else I was I playing? I pretty much know about Metroid through Osmosis. Before yeah, Metroid, through Osmosis for me. Before Albert, all I know about Metroid was Smash Bros. <laughs> oh, thank you for the bits, Taco. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for the bits. But yeah, once Recollection goes out, uh, give me like a week or two to settle and do some of the social media marketing. And uh, also prep the other Orpheon videos. And then I'll go to uh, do the crowd control and also the, whatchamacallit, uh, the randomizer. There we go, more fall. Hooray. This one also took you long. What happened? What's happening? Um, I'm distracted. Uh, there's two neat chibis on the stream right now. Yeah, recollection. Have you seen you Writer's Workshop? Metro Prime, and we don't have bombs. I'm having a brain fart. Um, uh, or the space pirates of destruction of villainy from Fat Brett. Long videos, but really good. I'd be curious uh, what you have to add to his essay. I mean, I haven't seen it. I'll probably check them out. Um, how long are they? Because that's usually a factor with me, I'm not going to lie. Um, of when or when I might sit down and watch it. Because if they're long videos, and I'll probably watch them when I'm, like, grinding in Final Fantasy XIV, and I just want some background uh, elements and stuff nice, like yeah. that. Because uh, we're doing a, a big grind in uh, Bastia. About an hour each. All right, so, yeah, it's definitely I'm going to put it on the background. Uh, I don't know why... You... Why you be curious about what I can add to his essay, but like, I, I'll take that as a compliment. Um, it means that you're being taken as the professionale of Le Metroid. I mean, I don't, I, I don't, I, I watch other metric content and stuff like that, but I typically don't really comment with my main channel. I comment with my own personal, like, alt channel. Um, and stuff like that, because like, I... I do want to collaborate with other people who want to make Metroid videos or any videos of any other game in general. Uh, but at the same time, you, you know, my attention has been completely elsewhere to the point that you can sort of see that I've more or less neglected the YouTube channel and the social medias and stuff like that. Uh, I would like to say that you on your own have removed any mean the word neat hat from me. What do you mean? Those two in the what? stream are very neat. Don't blame me. Oh yeah, because you say a lot uh, because she's neat or this is neat. I find it neat. This is uh, just like neat things. Um... 
But yes, tomorrow we might do a stream at night. And then I will uh, probably do another stream during the, the weekend. Um, I was going to go swimming today, but I might just go in the afternoon uh, later. I've been swimming a lot, chat. It is Afternoon swings. Yeah, it's refreshing. Um, I don't know. I swimming is now my exercise. <laughs> you know, it's it's good for my asthma. It's good for uh, my mind, and I just like the sensation of, of like it feels like I'm gliding through the water, <laughs> like a bird. <laughs> You fell in the water. I mean, I always fall in that water. Uh, but yeah, chat, uh, with regards to those videos, I've, I mean... Um, I don't really know what to expect based on those titles, but I guess I'll give them a watch if I do remember. Because that's, that's usually been the issue with me. Uh, where chat recommends me other Metroid content online that I don't know, and then when I'm sitting there on YouTube going like, okay, what what do I want to watch now? I I always uh, forget about the names and stuff like that. It's I just have a lot of things going on right now that my mind is so preoccupied with. Yeah, you're thinking a lot of things. I mean, there's worse hobbies than doing something that forces full body movement. It's not just a full body movement, it's also the... Uh, the stress release. Um... Man, I... that bonk with my tooth really, like, made it hurt again. Fuck. Well, it's gonna hurt for a bit because you bunk it. Yeah, I bunked it really. These are really, very sensitive. It was a, it was. I think it was a bunk too good. That it, you could hear it. That the fact that you could hear it on the microphone. You know. Yep. Okay, that's two of them down. So explain to me, what the fuck are you doing right now? So, to open that gate, uh, I need to scan four hidden glyphs that are in this room. Uh, oh, yeah. And then, oh, oh, yeah. oh my gosh. Oh, yeah. It's Kirby. Oh, yeah. it's oh, yeah. Kirby. Hello, Kirby. Hello. Hello. I'm a, I'm a little bit drunk tonight, uh, today, I mean. And my mind is oh, so nice. <laughs> I'm mean, that drunk. So, so I'm that right. drunk, Midnight. Ah, uh, I see, I see. Carry on. Yeah, I should probably use the uh, the scan visor to remember where these things are because they all glow like they'll have like a little red square. So forgetting. They're in the lower level. Oh, this on the hard. <laughs> also, hello, chat. Greetings. It is midnight. It is it midnight. Is, it is midnight somewhere in the world. <laughs> right now it's 202. I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, it is uh It is still morning over here. It's it's just it's my favorite joke. Every time it's like, "Oh, it's midnight." No, it's not. It's, no, it's not, but it could it's be It's 2 o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> but somewhere else it is. So, Albert, since midnight's here, how about you explain to her where they are located? All right, oh, all right. Enough of the bit. There's one underneath these things, right in front of me. Um, yeah, you know, if I don't fall in the fucking liquid, uh, oh, you know, uh, if I destroy wait. these, yeah, th th there's one underneath. The spicy juice. If I can remember where I, I yeah, there we go. Where, where you put your, yeah, yeah my, your, your, your control is kind of wonky right now. I always forget if I put it on the trigger or the bumper, and then the next one is just like if I jump ahead, you know, where I'm, you know, if I jump ahead. Then I turn around, and there's right there on that wall, to my left, next to the According door. According to the book. Next to the to door. To the right of the door. To the right of the door. <laughs> Over there. This is always one of my least favorite places in Metroid yeah, Prime 1. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
And that's also because oh, I have no platforming skills. Yeah, and then so. I just have to go scan that one over there. So just go back and scan that. That's a that's a bait. Also, I, just, I way, just have skill issues. Considering the Prime form has been off the radar for years now, do you think they're going to remaster Prime 2 and 3 before they release Prime 4? I would appreciate it if that happened. I mean, I'd wish, but I kind of doubt it. I feel like they might... Um, I, I'll take the silence about Metroid Prime 2 and 3 as a sign that, like, uh, there was, uh, we had news that they weren't going to do that, that they were just going to pour 2 and 3 in a, in a combo package in the same way they did uh, Pikmin's 1 and 2 on the Switch. Uh, but I think after seeing how success successful Metroid Prime Remaster was and how much people liked it, that maybe... They jumped ship, uh, they, they course correct, and uh, they're doing now Echoes in Corruption, but at the same time, it's going to take a while even if they're doing it, because um, uh, nothing, no models from Prime 1 are recycled on Prime 2 and Prime 3. It's just a game engine that's sort of recycled on Prime 2, so they, they really have to start from scratch in all of them. I need bombs for that. I will say for Prime 3, if they do remaster Prime 3, uh, I want to know how they're going to redo the, the motion controls, because uh, I know some people hate motion controls, but they're my favorite part of Metroid Prime It's Prime. probably going to be like Skyward Sword HD, where there's like, you can use the Joy-Cons individually, or gyro aiming, or regular aiming, uh, and stuff like that. Yeah. Alright, if I stop right Skyward here... Sword, so I would probably never know. I, I'm almost missing a missile <gasps> in that platform, if I turn to my left. Yeah, there we go. There we go. And that's a list of games I've never played, but probably should at some point. Near Automata. I have listen. I played all of Route A. Yeah, I have to get. Through, I have to get through You really route haven't B played. You C. really haven't played Near until you get a Route C. That is. True. I know. I haven't played Nier Route Nier. like here's the way. You, here's the way you have it's to. It's on no, my no, back no, burner no, no, for right no, no, now. No. Listen, listen. What you played is the equivalent of you grabbed the Six of Crow and you read the first chapter. That's not even cast. True. The first chapter is it's not even, not even a Nesh. It's just a dude that dies at it's the start. It's just some random dude. That's what you've done. It's just a dude that dies at the start. Um, but yeah, um, uh, a part of me says to answer your question, chat, uh, they, they are, uh, I keep forgetting that I can just uh, use the charge beam to pull in those items that are out of reach. Um, uh, they are going to remaster those two i don't know what that accent was um remaster remaster ni siquiera es mi puto puto acento o sea no sé por qué se me salió así um uh because you're dumb true um i understood none of that but i i'm saying vibes. i don't even know why that accent came up that's not even my accent <laughs> um uh, but yeah, the uh, I I hope they're gonna do it. But they, I believe that it's I still say it's like a 50-50 at this point. Because again, remat I don't think they would probably like uh, if they do plan on remastering Prime Two and Three. I don't think they will wait until Prime Four. Like they'll they'll push back Prime Four until those two come out. I think they'll just release Prime Four and then just release the other two as they go if they're remastering it. If not. Then the moment they announce Prime 4, uh, the Prime 2 and 3, like, combo bundle will go out live so that everybody can play those games before Prime 4 releases, but... Amr, are you yeah, good? Are you good, dude? You yeah, no, know, he's, <laughs> quote, he's, quote, he's quoting Shadow... <laughs> he's quoting the critically okay. acclaimed MMORPG. Listen, I would never know. I need a better computer. Riding home... Maybe there's a, there's a, there's a possibility... Dumb. That next year I'll probably get a better desktop. Next year? That's too far away. I yeah. I know I know. Well, maybe not. Wait, 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 wait. Not not next year. My younger brother goes away to college in the summer, and I think he's taking the desktop with him. The Death so, Star. The desktop. The Death Star. Yes. So chances are probably in, actually now that I think about it, maybe August. August, my favorite month. August comes after July August. and before September. And I right think... at, and two months after June. 
I think they're gonna somebody's saying I think they're gonna drop the number four from prime four and prime two or three if they do it. Um I, I need the more bull bombs for this. I forgot. I for, I, I'm getting ahead of myself. You, you for gore. Yeah. Yourself. Uh, that's you why. I, I mean, I was. Re I'm reading chat, okay, and, and stuff. And I'm helping you read chat. Yeah, I mean, the thing is that uh, yes, I always said that they're only using the four at the moment. It's just for like branding, so people know what to expect. A continuation. Yeah, uh, yeah for marketing purposes. But once they have the final game and. Uh, it's gonna come out and all that other stuff. They might just drop the four. They might just drop the whole Prime uh, name or stuff like that, you know? It would be interesting. Uh, yeah, Albert, totally don't shoot the charge beam into the red fucking circle. Have you ever played any other fucking video God. games? I hate this boss. I think I died at least like five different times to the you die to this boss? boss? You died to this boss? I Listen, both of you to assume I'm good at playing games. That's your first mistake. You played Kirby. Yeah, and Kirby's a lot harder than Metroid. Mm -hmm. Are you Are you sure about that? Yes. Have you ever tried? Are to you do... sure about that? Have you that? ever tried to do an arena? Yes, and I've died every time. I rest my case. Midnight has skill issue. We we've, we've been new, Taco. We knew this shit. We knew this already. I skish you my way through every game. Um, Kirby games don't play around with the true arena. But yeah, I think they're gonna drop the whole Prime 4. I don't think they're gonna drop the 2 and 3 for Metroid's Prime 2 and 3. Um, but I feel like they might do drop the either the, the 4 from Metroid Prime 4. And merely, I hope Prime 4 has a new storyline. As much as, like, the phase on and phase are done, no reason to break it back, and there's not a major thing. Yeah, I mean, uh, I've mentioned in my videos, granted they're a bit old by today's standards, um, Kensuke Tanabe, the producer of the Prime series, um, who's supposedly still working on Prime 4, uh, said in an interview way, way, uh, like, after Prime 3 came out, that the story with phase on is officially over. There's a ch there's an energy tank. I need to go collect it. Um, I almost almost leaving the room without using the, my new power up in the room. To, to... You almost forgot. Yeah, I almost forgot. I fuck and my controllers. That. I'm not gonna. And you know the worst. The best part. Look at that. The lines are literally aligned for. Yeah, this. the you lines are literally see. telling me where to go. Oh, it's dumb missiles. Um. So yeah, they, they say that that uh, he's not like he doesn't want to pursue like the story of Phase On and Dark Sam is are over, and that he wanted to pursue some new elements, and then he hinted about Silex, um, and then you know we see Silex's ship, the Lano Seven, in uh, Federation Force. Uh, no, in Prime Three, and then we see what uh -oh. seems to be uh, Silex's uh, shoulder in the post credits of Federation Force. Oh, that's what I was thinking of. I think they have to keep the Prime as a branding mechanism. No, yeah, probably. probably. It's it's either going to be Prime or the 4 that's going to go away. My bet is on the 4. Although, they could also drop the Prime if they intend to do a whole new trilogy, so that way there's no, there's not two Metric Prime trilogies, you know? Yeah. I will say, if they, if they do keep uh, the Prime and they give us the the silex storyline considering that i never played hunters i would like for them to include the other hunters from prime hunters yeah, uh, into same, that game <laughs> same uh i i've i'm like the new video that's coming out tomorrow is just me saying that like yeah holy shit metro prime hunters really needs a remake it's neat. <laughs> really needs a remake like, it's got so many cool ideas yeah. and so many cool characters for it to just like be left in the dust on a nintendo ds yeah and I think especially from Prime 3, because I think they... I don't remember which came first, Hunters or Prime... Hunters. I want to say Hunters came Hunters first, came right? Hunters came first. That Hun bringing, bringing the Hunters, like, or additional Hunters, I should say, like, onto a larger screen and onto a main console, I think was probably one of the best things they'd ever done. <laughs> yeah, I mean, a lot of the ideas from Hunters made their way into Corruption, if you think about it. The, yeah. Uh, the other Hunters, Planet Hopping, um... Uh, yeah, I, 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 I took too long. I gotta go back. Hunters with 06, I think. Got I gotta, it. I gotta, Thanks, I gotta, Jet. I gotta, I gotta go back. I took too long. 
I never played Hunters. I never played Federation Force. No, nah, you're not missing much. So. Like, if I had... I like to watch the gameplay. Yeah. I tried to get Hunters when I was in college, and then every single time I tried to order it, I got the demo. <laughs> <laughs> So there I was thinking I'd I'd gotten I'd gotten the game and then I had two copies of, of Hunter's the first hunt. Oh. All right, after I this puzzle, after this puzzle, oh I'll God. take a small break to do another uh, uh Kyoku, oh, yeah. uh, another Kyoku, another Kyoku stuff for collections yeah. and stuff. She, uh, she. Yeah, she. we're talking about she since Midnight's also here. Right? <gasps> yeah, Midnight's here, so we can Yay. talk about she's. Uh, Hunter's was Yay. 06, I think. Yeah, Hunter's was 06. Yes. And Corruption was one year later. My beloved. I, I love played Corruption. Hunters, but I could barely play due to the controls. I totally feel you. That's one of that's one of my main points of criticism. She, yeah, Amory, there's two of them on the stream. Zero Mission. I would like to see I never, the... I never played Zero Mission either though. Oh wait, no, I read that wrong. <laughs> I read that wrong. I, would like I have to played see Fusion but not Zero the, Mission. The Creaking Empire is a major antagonist again. Metroid has a lot of potential to branch out, had some ideas. For Metroid RTS that is roughly based on Star Wars Empire at War. I think it'll really work. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that you could do with Metroid. The, the, the main issue is that fans keep, like, wanting to suck Ridley's dick and the Space Pirates and the Federation and Samus being a renegade and whatever that we don't really focus too much on, like, oh, you know what would be cool? A whole new enemy faction and a whole new thing, like in Metroid Dread, you know? Metroid Dread felt yeah. so refreshing because we we pushed aside um, the space pirates, the space pirates, the Metroids, the Federation, and we just allowed some new characters to take center stage. It, yeah. It's why I was so torn with the return of the X Parasites because like I was enjoying the idea of worrying about Raven Beak and the Emmys, and then it sort of turns into Metroid Fusion in the second half of the game. But that's for whatever. I still love Dread. Anyway, yeah. let's let's Yoko have a talk. Let's have our little ad break. Yay! Today's stream is brought to <laughs> today's stream. <Ready? laughs> today's stream is 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 brought to you by me. Me, <laughs> challenges. <laughs> me again. Um, once again, reminder. I know that probably everybody here, no, not many new people have jumped in, but I'm gonna do it because f fuck y'all. We're doing a do Kickstarter. It, do it, do Holy it. shit, we're doing a Kickstarter. Holy shit, I'm so scared. We're doing a Kickstarter. Holy shit, for an original animated series. Holy shit, I'm scared. Uh, called Recollection. Um, I, I don't know if... Gabe, Gabe, are you going to spray bottle me if I say a synopsis of the plot? You can give a small synopsis. All right. Uh, so Recollection takes place in a world that's been ravaged by war after a strange phenomenon known only as the Calamity, whose uh, origins have been lost to time, leaves the planet in a state of accelerated decay. Uh, and so now nations need to invade one another in order to harvest the resources and survive. And the story follows Blue, which is uh, the, the, neat, the neat lady that you're seeing on stream right now. And on she's the left. Very, and, and, and there's like there's like yeah there she's got blue but there's also like she's the one <laughs> on the thumbnail next to the title uh, oh, oh wait also true wait so, my stream is paused that's why so there's a it's so it's uh, an action adventure sci-fi um uh, original show it's sort of uh the the, the world is sort of cyberpunky post-apocalyptic uh but not like Cyberpunk 2077 and stuff like that. Um, it's got mystery, it's got elements. There's this, I, I have like an over a hundred slide uh, page Bible, but they're Google slides. So there's not a lot of text because they're Google slides with images about different Can't story confirm. elements and character arcs and, 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 and backstories and stuff like that. Uh, and uh, yeah, it'd be super cool. We're trying to get money to produce a pilot um and then with that pilot we can either try and seek uh you know larger investors to get a full series or come back and try and get the full funding uh and part of the reason we're only focusing on a pilot is to gain your uh you guys's trust and also realistically for us just having an attempt at doing an episode and then seeing how we can shorten our time or or improve our workflow and be more efficient after the fact 
<laughs> Why can't I feel the loaded spray bottle that is pointed at your head? <laughs> Gabe said I could talk about it. Yeah, a little bit, yes. That That's all I can give you. That's a synopsis of the show, but it's not like... <laughs> I, I haven't mentioned what's Blue's journey or anything. <laughs> I went into a Andrew tunnel. What did I mean? Oh, she. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> she's very neat. Um, Midnight's a big fan of the one in red. Yes. Um, I'm also biased because my favorite color is red, so there is that. <laughs> Midnight is like, I'm biased because she's got glasses, she's got a coat, and she wears red. One, yeah, she's got yeah. glasses. Two, the she's got a coat. The spray bottle Three, has the balls. The energy. I put in Chosaurus. Look, what, look what, what I'm shooting you with now. Oh my god, wait, I gotta go into Discord. Where is this? Just general one? Not no. a fan of red because she's Sam, as in Samurai? Well, fuck you, Amory. Oh. <laughs> Fuck Damn, you. Gab. Damn. What the game said? <laughs> Look at the, the updated WikiHow water bottle. <laughs> <laughs> nothing more disrespectful than th uh, shooting you with something that I found on WikiHow. <laughs> yeah, no, nothing. Nothing. Just, when, when Gabe really wants to like fuck with me, uh, he just sends me a WikiHow link. Oh my god. Like a WikiHow how to tell somebody they have a crippling addiction. Uh, My favorite one has been the wiki how on you need an intervention. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, we're doing um, this Kickstarter. It goes live tomorrow. A new video goes live tomorrow. The teaser trailer goes live tomorrow. A new Orpheum video goes live tomorrow. A new Everything stream goes, goes live tomorrow. tomorrow. <laughs> Everything goes live tomorrow. My crippling depression is announced tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's that. No, wait, that's still there. That's been there forever. Um, <laughs> so if anything of this looks remotely interesting, there's a link down in the description of the YouTube channel. There's a panel down in the Twitch page. They'll take you to the Kickstarter page. It's currently, you know, you're only going to see like uh, it's going live and all this other stuff, but it's going to go live uh, and it'll be the same link. Um, if for whatever reason, tomorrow something happens, and we don't—I I, I highly doubt that will be the case. We'll probably uh, go live on Friday or Saturday. Oh, um, question. Yes. Do you know what time it's supposed to launch tomorrow? Yes. What time is it supposed to launch tomorrow? Yes. Oh. <laughs> It'll it's go live around this time. It'll like, probably be around, uh, like, say, two hours from now, tomorrow's time. So 4 p.m. Got it. I want to do it. Yeah, around 4 p.m. I want to do it after lunch okay. when I when I have food in my stomach. <laughs> got it. So that way I'm not skipping a meal out of well, the anxiety. You're you know? gonna have to eat at work while this happens. Huh? <laughs> I was wondering to myself if I was going to be at work while this happened. I mean, Luckily, I will not be at work while that happens. Okay. Um, but yeah, please uh, spread the word. I would really, really appreciate um, all these other stuff. I'm very, very, very much anxious and very much uh, excited and scared. But let's get back to Metroid Prime. Enough of the ad. <laughs> all right, hold on. You know what? You know what? You know what? I need a, I need a quick uh, two-minute break. Hold on. I'll be right back. Later, we'll get something. Is it time time to take over chat? Yeah, it's time to take over chat. What's up, chat? How we doing? We vibing? We get some woos in chat. Can we get some like yahoos in chat? Some wahoos? Get some screaming in chat. Yeah. It's too boring. Get some screaming in chat, guys. What's wrong with you all? <laughs> oh wow! Now maybe it's only you guys out. Listen, I'm listen. I'm always here for hype. Start screaming, Chad. Get out of here. Let's go. <laughs> How much there was inspired by Metroid or Tomboy? Yes. I'm not going to answer for yes. on that one. Yes. Yes. <laughs> See, that's more like it, Chad. There you go. There we go. What about you, Red Chad? Are you going to let Purple Chad win? Purple Chad's overriding you guys. You got you to gotta get on it. Let's go. Let's go. Where's the, where's the hype? <laughs> What if what if Midnight says Pollo, or Koopa, what if, what if, or Pichu, or all three at the same time? 
If I talk like a Lugo Koopo, will that work? And I'm back. <laughs> what I miss? I'm, uh, nothing. We're trying to figure out a name for Midnight if she was a combination of a Pichu, a Moogle, and a uh... Kirby. And Kirby. That is an amalgamation I will get back to you on. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody in chat while I was away said, How much was it inspired by Metroid or your Tom Thorne? Yes. Uh, we answered that question. We said yes. <laughs> yes. There is some Metroid like elements in it. Um. <laughs> not the girl on the right. No, she's shut not, the not fuck not up. <laughs> but you're gonna ruin the joke. <laughs> uh, but yeah, new original show. New original show by the Orpheon Kickstarter goes live tomorrow. Uh, stay tuned. I have to work at the same time. Come on, powering through the pain my job makes is already distracting enough. Yeah, I feel that. That was me yesterday. I swear if I find the freaking lizard in between uh, two rubbles of machinery or a literal lizard. Well, Amrick, start, uh, you know, what would you do? Because totally don't have planned that a background character is going to have a spiky ponytail and or a uh, lizard. Totally not. Totally not. It wouldn't be me, right, Midnight? It wouldn't be me. Wouldn't be, no, would be him. You? Never. Me? Never. All right. If anything, okay, let's go back you, to... You, Gongaga. Me, Gongaga. Me, Gongaga. All right, let's go back to the game. Yeah, sounds fun. There's totally not going to be lizards on the, on the, on the show. Are you talking? What are you talking? What are you joking about? What are you joking about? Ow. What? No, nothing. How I long? Then we hit wood. How long did you plan for the Kickstarter to last? I forgot if you have given a time period. We get to up to we get to have up to sixty days, and the idea is that because we are this is a first rodeo, we're small and all that other stuff. We might as well use the full sixty days to try and raise the money that we need. You know. See. Si. Um. <laughs> Is it always 60 days? Uh, you can get a maximum of 60 days now. Gotcha. I think it used to be 30, but now you get 60. And I've been debating whether we need the full 60 or the 30. Uh, the only difference being is that, like, all right, it's sort of a gamble. Because if you go for 30 and you meet it between those 30, you get the money to start working ASA, like, quicker. Uh, versus, yeah. like, say we get funded and then we, we got to wait the 60 days. Right. Um, but at the same time, this also these these two months uh, would give us time to prepare our pre-production and start assembling our, our workforce and all that other stuff. So that way, when, say, the 60th days comes and the money goes through, we can literally just start working and not uh, and not have to wait for anything. Okay, I believe you. <laughs> Saber X sent me that saying this is what I this is me right now. It's just Okay, I believe you. I can't look at them on mobile. No, it, it says just okay, I believe you. Oh. <laughs> it's from that uh, video of the Kingdom Hearts. I love those videos. Um, yeah, we're, there's a, this one is another one of those uh, puzzles that have to scan the things. There's one right behind me. That I... You know, I keep forgetting that if I shoot the hive, it'll stop the enemies from spawning. <laughs> I hate Warwolf so much, bro. I know, right? Oh my god, I'm just saying, alright, I, I gotta show this. Gabe, just post it. Yeah, I'll post it. I'll post oh, it. Oh no! Hello. Let's show it to the people. Yeah, hold on. Let me. Let me, let me Where is it? Uh, hold on. I'm. I'm getting it. I'm. I'm. I'm loading it on the stream. Sorry. Oh, Sorry. Gabe just sends me this. 
Gabe <laughs> just sends me this. <laughs> so fucking dumb. <laughs> That's what I was talking about before. The yeah. wiki how. Yeah, well, I, I, I stood up and I didn't see it. Oh. Yes. Sorry, that's not the sorry. That's the spray gun that Gab is hitting Albert with whenever he talks too much about the stuff. Yeah, well, now I'll, I'll get to talk about all the stuff. That stuff. Yes. You know, if I if I shot this hive right in front of me... <laughs> then it stops the enemies from spawning. Uh, yeah, so there's four of these panels here as well. There's one right next to me. Over here. I don't know how I could miss that, and then the other two are like, uh, there's one way below, the other two are below me, so it might have been smart if I just start restarting this room. And there's one right over there underneath the weed, if I remember correctly. Well, why did you jump into the water? Yeah, because uh, I suck. Did I miss some news about the new passion project you were working on? Yeah, the synopsis. Gabe allowed me to talk <laughs> about the synopsis. Yes, I allow um, him. No now I need to scan him. the thing on the floor before the weeds come back up. Oh, they back up! I gotta shoot him again. Yeah, we we were able to talk about the the show's synopsis, uh, which I guess that's public knowledge. Well, that can be public knowledge now, so I guess I can keep talking about it. Ooh. Well, I mean, you can say not exactly not adding not way. adding to anything, just repeating the things I said. Keep, exactly. You can put the water bottle back. Hmm. <laughs> now, now I need to go back up the For tree. Now. now I need to go back For up now. the tree. Oh shit! <gasps> Two midnights. Two ponds. My brain cell. <laughs> it's been so long. <laughs> Look how we, we should have a sound effect for whenever the two of you meet together. Uh, meet again in the voice in the voice chat. It's my, my brain cell. If the two brain cells are here, the whole brain is gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? That's us every day. You guys remember uh, Disney's Hercules? Yeah. 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 And how the witches started like passing the eye around? Is that us? <laughs> That's you with a brain cell. That's us. <laughs> I thought this... you were going to say that they were like the two demons that Hades has. No. Them... Yeah, there's no, that... another hive there. Pain and panic? No. No. Even though one sounds like pawn. <laughs> pain. Excuse me, what? Pain. Oh yeah, pain, pain sounds like pawn. That's true. Pain pawn. Uh, oh. Oh my pawn. god. Yeah, I, I, I just have to jump in here and then look at the tree from that platform. Or I can fall. And miss the jump. And you didn't jump. <laughs> and we missed fall. the jump completely. You missed the jump. Good job, sir. Metro, Metro by Mrs. Miss Ace's is right jump in the game. In All right, you know what? Uh, we're going to cut to another recollection ad. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm just, I'm just kidding. 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 The bit. The bit. The bit. <laughs> the bit. The bit. The bit. ad was a bit. <sighs> Yuri? Who? When? I I pulled abstract Yuri. Oh. Uh, he got the bakery. Oh my gosh. Abstract. I mean, it's still Yuri. She still has got that bakery, but abstract Yuri's not showing off the bakery quite like. Because she's showing off her red eyes, her red glowing eyes. No, that's a bizzle. The type. Oh, my I bad. got abstract. That's the oh, one. Is that, that the one with the midriff and Elfma? Yes. Costume. Yeah. Okay. The what, what did you? What you? What? Where were you saying, Midnight? Your type. What do you mean, my type? Is his type? No, it's not. Yes, Yuri is his type. What do you mean, my type? <laughs> she's trying to book <laughs> that Yuri is your type. No, she's not. Yes, she is. Yes. No. She's a cold tyrant yeah. that uh, rules with an iron fist. She's very smart. <laughs> Come on now. Uh, I love how Pond his house is like recitable. Like this is recitable information. <laughs> Pond enjoys doing this to me. It's memorized at this point. Let's be fair. See, you're, you're still distracted by your. You're getting hit by everything. It's not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> you're so bad at this game. 
I, you're you're on my God. phone. I should probably destroy these. these. I'm gonna destroy these boxes to get hell first. <laughs> sure. Main character isn't a tomboy, right? Um, would you say Blue is a tomboy? His lizard was a tomboy. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> oh look, it's a. Oh, I hate this boss. It's Flyra. Me too. Look, another boss name that I fucking remember. We should probably do a safe state. I hate Flagra. We should probably do a safe Lagra. state because I remember we haven't saved, and if we die, we die. How do I do a safe state again? Oh, oh, oh. Go find oh. It. uh oh, uh oh. Maybe I should pause and do find, figure out how to do a safe state before I I, I die because my controller and you know keep getting hit by the enemy. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Technical difficulty. Uh oh. Yeah, it sounds like a difficult. Uh -oh. All right, at least I at least uh -huh. I got to pause the game. Didn't work out. All right. Uh, where is the make a safe state? All right, but for real, pun. Would you say blue is a tomboy or not? Oh my God. Yes. Blue is a tomboy. Blue is a tomboy. There you go. Yes. Yeah. You did the safe yeah. thing. Wait, hold on. Now, oh. now, now, Wait. now the window went black. Hold on. That's weird. Oh. Hold. On consideration. Okay, there we are. We're, we're back. We're back. We're back. Huh? Consideration. I would argue red is maybe more tomboy than blue. Alright. What if they're both tomboys? <laughs> you know, also fair. Yeah. I don't Why like not this. both? I don't like how the two brain cell holders Why? are colluding <laughs> with each other. <laughs> I feel like House of Trades just like minding my own business in Kalan and their spawn being House Carino and Midnight being fucking House or Harkon and. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta, I gotta hit the the solar panels. They're activated. The ones are activating because they're emitting light. Someone in chat saying that no because her hair is too long. I mean, tomboys can have long hair. Listen, I had long hair for a time. You calling me not a tomboy? Yeah. Lies. You you can have like. The hair length does not dictate whether or not you're a tomboy. It's just that the archetype and anime tends to have short hair. Listen, all I'm, all I'm going to say is that when I, when I was a kid, I have never had so much more joy than opening up a, like a video game for Christmas <laughs> yeah. than I ever did the dolls that I got. Yeah. Mood. Uh, Amerik is saying, I love hearing Pawn laughing, and her mic cuts her mid-laugh. Oh my god. If I hit- if No, but I then he corrected it. I think it's me, because Amerik said midnight mid-laugh. Sorry. It does it for both That's of you, on though. Having... It does it for both oh, of you. Oh, it does? Yeah, Pawn goes into the void nice. when she- when she- when you know it's good, <laughs> Pawn just, like, <laughs> implodes. It's like a black hole consumed her. Oh my god. I have wireless headphones on, so it, it's probably cutting out because of that. <laughs> maybe, oh, I should, up, Flagra? May, maybe I should stun Flagra. First. Yeah, because it, it can. That's what happens. He reactivates the solar panels. My gosh, I am so good at this game. Yeah, you're so good at this so game. So good at this game. So fantastic. Okay, to be fair, I'm being distracted between blue and red, and now Yuri, and now all this other stuff. <laughs> Bing. I think I ran out of missiles the last time I fought Flagra. No, that's the worst. Although a charge beam does the same amount of damage as a missile. Oh, it does. Yeah. But I I'm to be baby fair. and I rely on my missiles. He has what? Yuri's bakery on his monitor right now. What? You have Yuri's bakery on your monitor right now. <laughs> no, I have the stream. No, you have Yuri's bakery. Come on now. <laughs> I have Stop this... being in denial. I have the I, I how can I have that when I have the stream? Oh I took too long. You took too long, <laughs> sir. Want to use the bombs? <laughs> I was distracted. Okay. In the tunnel. Yuri is pretty oh. neat. 
and so is blue. Right? Uh oh. Don't forget school too. Chat doesn't know about him yet. <laughs> Gabe, water bottle pawn. She was the one who mentioned. That. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna water bottle you pawn. <laughs> Get him with the spray bottle. Gabe, Gabe, Gabe is like, I'm just gonna fucking Mike Hagger forward heavy. I'm just not allowed to do Mike Hagger anymore. I'm taking away her Mike Hagger license. No! <laughs> Not my Alright, so should I show Skull now? I wouldn't say that. Nah, no, I no, say that. No. But he's so funny. <laughs> I love him so much. <laughs> I mean, the funny thing is that um, the people on the server have seen Skull. They just don't know it. Exactly. True. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they just don't know it. Oh, so I want to see Amrick's reaction when there's a lizard in the background that's making fun of a rabbit. A lizard? A lizard. A lizard? It's a ghost girl lizard. She's so cute and spunky. Who used to be a tomboy. No. So why is Blue a fucking tomboy? <laughs> Actually, I don't think we can discuss that right now. Yeah, we no. Uh, I got the water bottle. Uh, I have on. one thing I can say that has nothing to do with spoilers. Uh, type it to me, and then I'll see whether or not we can, if it's sp spray bottled or not. Okay. I'll put it in the ruins. There you go. Ah, I mean, in the in the in the chibi. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you you can say also, that. You, I thought also, I thought you meant backstory or something like that. Oh no no no! It's it's her posture, just oh. the way she presents herself. Because she's so cool yep. and so strong and so neat. And she's so neat. <laughs> she's... Have you heard of the critically acclaimed project? <laughs> hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on, I need to read this. I need to read this. Have you heard of the critically acclaimed project Kyoku Recollection releasing soon with a diverse cast of colorful and interesting characters made with a lot of passion now with the added support of Hell Spawn Krogemeyer up to level 9001? <laughs> <laughs> All right, because somebody, Wait, somebody, somebody, I, somebody, I... somebody give you two a fucking prize for that. Oh, I can't even pin that. Yeah, we can't. Uh, I'd uh, pin that if I could. All right, here, I'll take, we can, we could take a screenshot. Yeah, Hold let's on. take a screenshot. Hold on, yeah, let me, let me pause the game real quick and take a screenshot real quick. <laughs> this is too funny. Wait, why Kyoku? Oh my god. Wait, why is Kyoku recollection? Is it like that on the site? Because if it is, I gotta change it. Uh, we we dropped the Kyoku part of the name for for branding purposes. Fair. All right, I'm gonna post it in the recollection chat. <laughs> there. Twitter pages, Twitter pages like that. Oh, okay, yeah. Well, we haven't logged in there yet to fix it, so just making sure. Alrighty, uh, now I can go back into the game. I am struggling with Flagra today. I apologize, everybody. Somebody take away my Metroid license. Okay, on my way. <laughs> on my way. I will not hesitate. Is it the Flagra like one of hesitate. these fucking bosses in this game? Huh? Is it Flagra like one of these monsters in this game? Um, he can be tricky if it's Depends your first time you ask. playing. Yeah. There, there's people who struggled with Flagra and stuff like that. It's just that the <laughs> easiest, the easier way to fight Flagra is always locking onto him and strafing. Um, so I just felt like doing it, like, I'm trying to go down memory lane on how Kit me played it, okay? Let me be. No. Because I'm like, wow, this boss was so, so much harder when I was a kid. And it's like, oh yeah, I was also just a... Dumbass kit. Flower. Oh. See, some people. Yeah, go, go struggle with Flagra. Badly. I struggled with Flagra. <laughs> well, Mitna, you are not a gamer. No, I'm not. I like, I, like I said, I skitch you my way through every game I play. 
Whatever upon the, the spawn struggle with Flagra. Do we what? Items yeah. I forget. What? Yeah, I want to fight. I distinctly remember just having trouble with this boss. Wait, what item is this? Barya suit. <gasps> Shoulder pads! <laughs> Big shoulders. We are bulky. I feel I feel protected from the void. <laughs> prime two varia greater than prime one varia. Says yeah, chat. Uh, Purple chat. Prime two varia better than prime one? Yeah. I agree. I don't. I I I know Rumber. I the for for right now the only image I have in my head is the other Rum suit. But that's oh, also because beloved. I like the shiny. Yeah. I like I, the shiny of it. I like the shiny and I like the agile ness of it. Ah yes, my favorite wave beam enemies. <laughs> Again, I'm trying. I'm trying to pretend like I'm like playing this as a kid with a funny. <laughs> Shiny, where? In Metroid on the Running, Rick. Yeah, this is good, gamer. <laughs> you know what else? Shiny Yuri. <laughs> so shiny. Uh, I have to go. I have to go back and find the clips for other M gameplay Wait, because uh, I once made on. a video question before I go on the elevator do I want to uh, collect power ups or do I want to go in the elevator oh, I might as well collect a few power ups if I go to the might as well collect a few power ups if I go through the I was about to say just full send it into the elevator but yeah, that works too uh, let's, uh, let's let's get let's grab some power ups yeah I have to go back and look for game footage for other M because I remember I once made a video <laughs> Oh, you had a get into nice... the elevator. Ah, uh, yes, shut the fuck up. I always struggle I, with this elevator. Listen, to be fair, it's a very hard elevator to get into. Mm. But that's also just me. Mm. These Electro oh enemies confused me as a kid. In Prime 1, you can't kill them with a charge beam. In Prime 2, you can. I thought that in Prime 2, you needed the dark beam. I thought it was just... Isn't it still wave? Oh, wait, no, you don't get wave beam. Skill issue, yes, yeah, skill in issue. In Prime 2. Do you get the other beams in Prime 2, or is it just the light and dark beam? Light and dark beam. Oh, okay. <laughs> Could not remember. <laughs> there we go. I did it. <laughs> that, was a, that was embarrassing. <laughs> I've seen you struggle in the fossil before. Yeah, you, 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 you have. I, there's some times where I'm good, and there's some times that I'm just shit. <laughs> Veteran Elma, I enjoy her. I'm able to use elevator. Shut the fuck up. I don't know what Elma has to do with this. That is true. <laughs> Oh, I know how I can attack uh, Amrick. Oh, Wiggle Ear? Yes. Uh, I was gonna say... Uh, he likes, uh... He's mad? Huh? I said he's mad? I can't hear it, you sound muffled. <laughs> she said these nuts, he likes these nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Amrick, you brought this upon yourself for making fun of us about ne reminding us about near reincarnation's cancellation. Uh, also, A2? A2. Also, I must, I have to depart. I must depart. No. You must okay. depart. Oh, no. All right. Yes. I, I, I'm going, I'm going. Boldly. Wait, why did I go back? There's a missile expansion right in front of an energy tank. If I kept going, or did I collect the energy tank? I sold yeah, you out. Collect it. Oh, oh, I will, uh, I will catch it. you all sorry, later. I'll, sorry, I am like muscle memory took over. Mm -hmm. I looked at the at the other monitor and then I'm like, wait, where am I? <laughs> I had a glitch right, in the by matrix. midnight. By midnight. <laughs> uh, oh, recollection on Kickstarter. Go, 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 go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go, okay. recollection, Kickstarter. Go, 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 go. 
<laughs> Alzheimer's kicked in. Oh my god, Chapman. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. You mean here? What was that? I think you're having mic issues, Pawn. Yeah, because it's a, it's just a full mic, apparently. Uh, but yeah, Amrick and I handshake Umbreon and Yuri. They're related, don't you know? Umbreon and Yuri? Yeah, they are. You wanna have to explain that one. Gold and black color scheme? Oh. Red eyes. Red and well, Yuri has oh. yellow eyes. Oh my god, thank you for the bits, Midnight. <laughs> Who is this? Who is this? Uh, who is these nuts? Ah. She she wants some blue. What do you mean some blue? Also, I guess the other thing is like you know, Umbreon has the Espeon like uh, opposite, and then Yuri has Mary. <laughs> hey, Amrig, did you know that? How? <laughs> You know the bird, let me smash. Yeah, what about the bird, let me smash. If you're asking me with Yuri, then yes. But more like, can you please destroy me first? No. You know, if I asked Yuri, let me smash, she would take that in the literal way and then just turn me into a bloody pulp in the floor. <laughs> a part of me would be excited about that. I gotta do- I gotta do that meme I show you with a MODOK show. Yes, you do. Yeah. Becky. You want some blue? Yeah, Mac more Pervins. Alright, um... Okay, worst case, I might have to do a safe state uh, here and then continue next stream because I am starting to get hungry and I think um, we might start cooking soon. And I... Yeah, let's, let's do that. I mean, you you saved you you were on a on a safer before. Do you need to do a safe uh, safe state? True. Yeah, let's just let's let's end the stream here. Look, it's like in in my mind, I usually just like skip that save room but sometimes i forget i, I go into it <laughs> um but yes um let's do a final message about kyoku yeah we'll, like, we'll, 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 end, we'll end the stream with more kyoku stuff before pawn goes and proceeds to bully me about yuri oh, huh or Oh, redacted, redacted. Wait, is redacted from what? I can't hear upon what did she say? It's another red muffle, but I understand. She says like from redacted. Oh, is that am, I am a, I am the bit leader now? Says Taco. Pecking order. Um, if I had the money, you guys will be in the fucking ground right now. <laughs> um, okay, but yeah, recollection. Um, Pawn, do not mention the other redacted stuff that is still cooking. Uh, no, no, it's like you're saying just redacted. Oh. Yeah, she's just saying redacted. I don't know who could that be. Or why they're so neat. I... Well, you created them. No. Yes, you did. No. Yes, he did. No, that, is, that, yeah. that doesn't mean anything. And then there's lizard that I constantly play with. No, leave, leave the lizard. No. Leave the lizard alone. No. She was a tomboy, now no. she's a gospel. Oh, can we talk about recollection? Can we leave? Lizard. Can we live the lizard alone? <laughs> no. Mewtwo is saying, it's but it's redacted and lizard. No, no, it's not. 
I mean... I mean... Maybe? Question mark? Anyways, so yeah. Um, the show, the, the Kickstarter goes live tomorrow. Uh, depending on how today goes, we might uh, be doing another stream later tonight. Um, if not, then do expect a stream tomorrow after the project goes live. Uh, in regard to recollection, are you guys educated in animation and graphics? Y yes. Yes, we are. <laughs> We've made. <laughs> uh, I not not to sound condescending or anything, but like we did make these visuals that you're seeing right now in the animations on the Orpheon videos and stuff like that. But yeah, we our background is on um, game and uh, and story and animation and stuff like that. So um, I've we have uh, several years of experience doing this type of things and uh, all that other stuff. So. Uh, not to say that your question was dumb or anything, because I, I, that's why I said I'm trying to make it sound like it's not condescending or anything, because there's no such thing as a stupid question. Um, but yes, we do have a background in animation, game design, filmmaking, uh, writing, and stuff like that. And we have been working in other, you know, projects with clients and stuff like that. This is just the f the our our actual independent one. This is from the ground up, built for us. Yeah, no budget, just, well, <laughs> kind of budget because we've been paying the artist to, like, do some shit. Yeah, you know, yeah, like, yeah. The most, most of, of the money. yeah, we've been paying, I've been paying uh, people their due diligence and their just asserts or whatever you say it to at yeah. least create these assets. But now that we're at the point that we can start doing the rest, uh, we need bigger budget so that everybody can get paid. Um, I don't know, I just perceived you guys as Metroid YouTubers, nothing else but cool. YouTube is a hobby, to be clear. Yeah, no, it's, you're fine, uh, but yeah, you know, the, the YouTube videos, I like to imagine, still have some animations and, and quality here and there. Um, if you've seen any of those sort of, like, like the, the those animated graphics I've done for the videos, it's more or less going to be animated in that style. Um... So, um, we, we do have a background in all that stuff, so do not worry. Me sleeping, it's me, ya boy, Orpheon, and then me waking up, it's me, ya boy, <laughs> Orpheon. <laughs> it's more of a reassurance of, of your confidence in the project. Okay, I've, I've been working in the animation and filmmaking industry uh, as a professional editor, uh, story, and animator for about six or seven years now. Um, and, I, and I've been a game designer and artist for like about the same time. Yeah. And like I said, like I was going to say, the Metri channel uh, was just an excuse for Gabe and I to get together and go through the process of producing doing stuff. Shit, yeah. yeah, actually seeing, doing shit and producing videos and all that other stuff on purpose so that while we are getting jobs or in between jobs or whatever we can do this to keep our uh skills uh we can stay in the field and warmed up and we don't lose practice and all that other stuff um so that is essentially our our background we went to study for this stuff uh we went to work on this stuff have you guys already played our, the remastered version yes there is uh you can see the blind playthrough of that on the second channel orpheon station um there should be a link to it on the main channel and all that other stuff but we will we wanted to stream it today but you know there was a it's complications yeah complications with my capture card but we'll stream it at some other point uh, but yeah, you know, we, we do have experience doing this. If we didn't have experience doing this, I don't think I would have gone through the trouble of putting a Kickstarter campaign and convincing people to come work with me. And then uh, also, uh, you know, get this far and all this other stuff. Are Pawn and Midnight also working on it? Yes. Right, Pawn? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And also, uh, what kind of animation we're gonna do? You'll know tomorrow. Yeah, because it's a, it's a kind of very important uh, thing that we're trying to. Do. Uh, we don't have the budget or the uh, or, or or the t 
team to do a full blown animation. Yeah, we we're, we're uh, this is gonna be it's we're gonna but we're using it uh, we're using it not as a as a crutch. We're using it as a way to enhance the story. Yeah, because there's something that we that me Kubayashi and and Albert likes a lot that we want to try to mimic. Yes, it'll be it'll be very apparent tomorrow when you see the teaser trailer. Yes. Um. And we were studying it, we're big fans of it, and there's not many shows that use that style. And we felt that by sticking with that, we can cut on our budget and keep it simple, keep it safe, and then force us to focus on the storytelling, focus on the cinematography, and all these other things. Uh, but again, we will have also a stream tomorrow with Q&A session. Uh, so if you have more questions, uh, you know, go. The idea is go watch the uh, go look at the Kickstarter page and then come over and ask questions. Ask anything you want. Uh, if we can answer something, just understand that it's because spoilers and we don't want to ruin any surprises. Chat is saying I expect Pond to dub one character saying my wife. My wife. Oh my <laughs> uh, you want me to say my wife? Um, we'll we'll have Pawn saying "my wife" as a background. Then <laughs> we do have my some. <laughs> there it is. Uh, Pawn is gonna be. Pawn has been helping me. Uh, Pawn and Midnight have been helping me with writing and story. I mean, Gabe has been helping with everything. So, um, he's our production manager. Um, yep. And then Pawn is sort of like one of the people I constantly bother and pester with ideas and then also gives me feedback on story stuff and character arcs and uh, she'll be helping us with animation and then Midnight's gonna be helping as full-on writer and stuff like that. Assuming we get the funding, you know? Easter eggs, Gav is the right-hand man. Yeah, Gav is, Gav is the right-hand man of the project with Kuba Ushi. They're both the right hand. There's two right hands in this project. Um, and Trenton, I guess. Uh, I, uh, but yes, there will be Easter eggs. <laughs> of course, it's a me project. There's going to be Easter eggs, but we're getting ahead of ourselves. Um, any extra funding we get is going to be used to... Um, so, like, the Kickstarter is like, all right, here's the funding we need to do the, the actual pilot. If we received more funding for stretch goals, like I mentioned before, uh, our main priorities is getting it translated into different languages for subtitles, Perhaps getting a dub on two or three different languages, uh, getting a text message to interrupt my statement, a phone call, I mean. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll, 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 I'll answer the way. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Um, and, um, and then we'll also have uh, a behind, we'll, we'll do like uh, perhaps a, a commentary track of the project itself or uh, create more assets but the main idea is like once we get the, the the show to be as accessible as possible to people around the world uh, we want to focus the rest of the budget to just continue producing more content so uh, this would range from either the other projects i'm working on the back burner redacted and redacted and redacted as pun generously hinted at or just simply keep working on recollection and uh, use that funding to create more assets and pay to cover the cost of like storyboarding and script writing and all that other stuff and the, the stuff like that. Like the main reason we're not offering too many crazy stretch goals is because we want to keep it simple and we'd rather use whatever extra income we have to make it as accessible as possible and just keep producing more. Um, uh, insert the meme of I receive money, <laughs> you receive quality contents. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, but yeah. And uh, stay tuned for that. Um, if you're on the Discord server, there is a recollection chat. Feel free to ask anything or talk about it over there. Um, we'll be doing another stream tomorrow where we'll show all the other things. Um, and then I will also share the social media links and stuff like that soon. But 
Um, I hope you guys are looking forward to it. It's it's very nerve wracking for me because um, it's like the baby. It's my baby. Um, it's one of many babies, and I want to just bring these content for you guys so I can entertain you much more beyond than just YouTube guy number 247 talks about video game number five up 5,432, you know? Um, but in order to get that, we're going to need some monitoring uh, funding and stuff like that. But with all that said, I'm going to go have lunch. I will make uh, another announcement later tonight on the community tab. Um, and I don't know what else to say, Pawn. Huh? Anything you want to say about recollection? Uh, I hope you look forward to it. <laughs> Please look forward to it. Uh, Please look forward to it. Blue is very neat. Sam Blue is very neat. She's, and she's... a tomboy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Why? Because she is one. Why is she though? Because she is one. No, she isn't. Anyways. Yes, she is. What? Oh, I thought you said here. Well. I don't know. Anyways, I'm off to lunch. Uh, if, whether or not there's a stream tonight, we'll see. If it's a stream, it's probably just gonna be you know us playing Final Fantasy 14 or something like that. Um, lizard. Lizard. Um, and if not, then. There'll definitely be a stream tomorrow or during the weekend and stuff like that. But yeah, I hope you guys stay tuned. I hope you consider uh, supporting us and helping us spread the word because uh, there's nothing more that we want to do than entertain you guys and, and, and all this other stuff. But sadly, as much as we could realistically do this out of our own pocket, it's just going to hurt, uh, you know, Heard us because we don't have the income to do it. Yeah, the the industry, as, as anybody knows, after the 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 twenty twenty things have been very much whack. So, for all for all industry, um, uh, for every industry in general. So, um, we hope that you look forward to us. Uh, yeah, the idea that that's the whole reason we're going through Kickstarter. We don't want to. I'm willing to start for it, but I don't want to start for it. I think I'm starving enough as is. <laughs> um, but yes, thank you so much for tuning in. Hey, thank you so much for putting a lot of effort in whatever you're trying to create. I mean, I've, I've, I've always been a, a firm proponent that I give my 100% because you guys deserve 100% um, and more. So... If anything, I should also thank you guys for the support and thank you guys for allowing me the opportunity to even have my dream be somewhat of a reality where I can just entertain people and stuff. But, but this is really the dream, the bringing uh, the the project into projects like this to life. And also Krokomire is involved. Um, he's helping me. He's always been helping me with brainstorming and stuff like that. But anyways, I'm off to lunch for real, for real. Uh, please take care. Please look forward to it. And I'll see you next stream. Blue's not a tomboy. She's just very neat. Blue uh, and red are tomboy. No. <laughs> I asked you this years ago, and you were like, nah. <laughs> yeah, and I changed my mind. Huh? Yeah, she changed her mind. My gosh. <laughs> Fucking cheater, cheater, pumpkin meter. No. <laughs> All right, well, take care, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow or later tonight, depending. Bye.